When Paul, the Apostle Paul, uh, he was in prison several times, but toward the end of his life, he was in a Roman prison. And it was there where he penned this letter, 2 Timothy, to his protege, Timothy. Timothy was his disciple, and Timothy was a young man. A young pastor. He was a young pastor of the church in Ephesus. And uh, being a young pastor, he was under the gun because people were thinking, hey, hey this guy's a young whippersnapper. Let us see him. But also, he was under a lot of different other kinds of pressures, too. And, and Paul gave him several important reminders, some of which we're going to deal with today. Reminders about what it means to be a Christian soldier to fight for Jesus, and to endure the battle, because we're in a constant battle against the enemy. Listen to the Word of God. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 to 13. You therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. The things which you have heard from me in the presence of many witnesses, entrust these to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. Suffer hardship with me as a good soldier of Christ Jesus. No soldier in active service entangles himself in the affairs of everyday life so that he may please the one who enlisted him as a soldier. Also, if anyone competes as an athlete, he does not win the prize unless he competes according to the rules. The hard-working farmer ought to be the first to receive his share of crops. Consider what I say, for the Lord will give you understanding in everything. Remember Jesus Christ, risen from the dead, descendant of David, according to my gospel, for which I suffer hardship even to imprisonment as a criminal. But the word of God is not imprisoned. For this reason I endure all things for the sake of those who are chosen, so that they also may obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus, and with it eternal glory. It is a trustworthy statement for if we die with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. This is the word of the Lord. 